button. Hey guys, this is Josh with the Busted Button and we're back with another video. We went thrifting today and uh, for the first time I have Kelly with me. <laughs> okay, I'm starting again. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, you can read the way, that's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm, I might have to go through it a couple times. Hey guys, this is Josh with the Busted Button, and uh, today we went thrifting. Uh, I'm trying not to say a garage sale. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Josh with the Busted Button, and today we went garage selling. We wanted to kind of show off some of the items we found. And for you guys that are brand new or uh, just turning or tuning into the channel, I want to let you guys know the reason we do this is so we can kind of showcase what we find, and uh, hopefully it'll help you guys. Uh, in the future finding items and we wanted to show you exactly what we found today but uh, also if you uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it helps me and Kelly out and uh, for the first time Kelly's here today so I'm glad she's here but uh, let's let's go through the stuff and, and see what we found okay. and a little bit of a background uh, how much did we spend uh, 180 yeah. dollars about 180 dollars we figured that was about three dollars and what fifty cents about yeah. an item yeah for, per item. yes for this rack here only so yeah so about three dollars and fifty cents for this per item for this rack and we expect to make at least a thousand dollars off of what we found today so you're taking 180 dollars and you're turning it into a thousand i mean you can't beat that and this haul this one garage sale was where, mo where most of this come from and it is just crazy the amount of stuff that we found We'll, we'll start going through it now. I'll kind of let Kelly go through a little bit of it. Okay, so um, Madewell is a great item, and she had a ton of Madewell um, I'll take shirts, those. and then um, here's a tag. Sweaters. You guys have never seen the Madewell tag. Sweater. I don't know exactly where they sell. Made well, you know what store it's sold in? No. But it no. sells really well, and uh, we have, what, three or four that we found there, some yeah. of them are with tags. Yeah, two of them I think are um, with tags. This one still has a tag on it, so I'll get a little bit more um, for this one. Of course, this is a size extra small, so it um, might take a little bit longer to sell, but it's really nice. And I think we figured about $20 per item minimum but some of these items are probably forty, fifty dollar items, oh, if not one. more. This one is a Madewell dress, and it also has a tag on it. And again, there's the Madewell tag or the Madewell brand. If you're out thrifting, you can find it. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is Nike. This is a Nike shirt, like a uh, dry fit shirt. Um, and it's really cute. Nike doesn't do, we don't buy a ton of Nike, but the dry fit stuff is better than um, just regular yeah. plain Nike stuff. And the thing about Nike stuff is, I think I've talked about this before, is it's so expensive brand new. I mean, a top like that would probably be 30, 40 bucks, more like 40 bucks brand new. So this is a new brand for us that we haven't bought before, J. Crew. Um, I bought this shirt because it's really cute, and I think that um, it will probably do fairly well because it's cute. And um, I know that that they are. It's a it's a higher end store. It's not high end, but it's higher end um, for like business casual stuff. So. And I think I've heard some of the other resellers say that J. Crew used to be a really good item. It's kind of fell off a little bit. But I think that some items like that that really look nice, that they'll still do. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to do. do I well. think so, too. And then, if they're um, nicer, if they look nice, you know, it, it's probably going to. Yeah. She'll show you these puffer so jackets we got. Puffer vests, are, they do really well. Um, and so I got five J. Crew puffer vests in varied colors. So... We'll see how those do. 
And then you got to remember, this all came from one, one person. One person. Okay, so this brand just flies off the shelves. Typically, um, Free People is the brand. Let me show that tag. Yeah, let me show you the tag. Um, the tag it, is it kind of varies, but usually it'll be branded Free People somewhere. There's that tag. That old tag. Um, that Free People has a few different uh, names that they go by, I guess. There's Free People, there's We the Free, there's the Intimately Free People. But this is a really cute top, and I think that it will sell pretty quick. Um, and I think you can probably touch on this a little bit more, too, but not all Free People is are the same. Some of them sell better than others. Yeah. Some, some items. Yeah. So I got these as well, and um, these are also free people. It, these will take a little bit longer to sell, but I mean, I couldn't pass them up. There were four of them, and um, they'll probably sell on Poshmark. So the younger crowd seems to go for these um, type of items. And then, so this is Lululemon. Um, these sell really well. You could see the uh, is the Omega. Is it Omega symbol? So. The Omega yeah. symbol on this shirt, and the um, Lululemon um, logo on the back there. So Should I don't know how many of these I got. Yeah, there's uh, yeah, there's a tag on. Here's the logo that you need to look for for Lululemon. If you were at a yard sale or at Goodwill, somewhere like that. Most of the shirts have tearaway tags. This one happens to still have the tag on it, but most of them on, like I said, the shirts are torn away because they're so large, uh, but it doesn't seem to matter. You can measure and still sell the items. I have um, a bunch of different tanks that she had. And if you just and measure from sleeve to sleeve and then armpit from to armpit, armpit to armpit yeah. and then from down here, from here to here, that's usually good enough for most people. And, oh, this is really cute too. That's going to sell well. Another um, Lululemon. I don't know where the logo is on this one. Did you see it? Uh, I don't think I did see a logo on the actual. It, it's rare enough to find one or two. Oh, it's cute. Um, Lululemon items at a garage sale, but to go to a garage sale and find what like, seven or eight? I don't know. Yeah, it's like eight, <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy. Ten, yeah, ten. I don't know. Um, and then, oh, these jeans. Yeah, talk about that brand. That's so, so this is uh, Adriana Goldschmied AG Adriana Goldschmied jeans, and they are very expensive jeans. And they sell them, so. We show them the label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's a label for this one. Um, and then the. Yeah, I'll talk about that. Okay. So recently, we went to a garage sale, and there were probably about seven or no, probably about ten or so. Wrangler, vintage Wrangler shirts. And I've had one, one of them listed right now. I think I listed it as high as 80 and I dropped the price down a little bit. But vintage Wranglers uh, shirts, pearl snaps, they sell pretty well. And um, I'm gonna show you the, the label. This is the label you need to look for for Wrangler. That's the more vintage um, label. And this shirt, uh, that's probably at least a minimum, probably a $20 shirt. It's really thick too. Yeah, it's thick. thicker. It's thicker. Than... It's thicker than a normal uh, Wrangler work shirt that you see. Yeah. And then we got one, two, three, four, five. You can of bring these. them all out if you want. I'll just kind of show them. Okay. So. so the North Face, you know, everybody knows the North Face. It's a good brand. And I hand them to you. How about that? Okay. That's one. Here's another. I think that they have kind of taken a little bit of a fall, and I think it's partially because the market is so flooded with stuff from the North Face. Face everybody knows the brand, and it just it just gets flooded on on eBay. But for four dollars a pair, you can't beat it because we can list them, and we're gonna get a, like I said a minimum of twenty dollars for those. 
This is Rockin' Republic. It, it's not a great brand. Um, I bought a few pair of jeans from them a while back and they're still listed. But um, these are men's shirts in their size 2XL and it has the tag on it still. So it was originally priced $50. Um, and so I think it'll do well just because it's a larger size. Those seem to do better than the very small sizes. Uh, and then of course, these leggings, which I've not sold any like this before, but they are Mickey. They're Disney Parks um, leggings. So we'll see. It's hard to miss with the Mickey, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah so. they sell pretty easily. Uh, and then again, some J. Crew over here. There were three pair of J. Crew chino shorts, which were just in really good condition. So we'll see how we do with those. If those sell or not, if, you know, if they don't sell, we won't buy any more of them. And then a pair of Free People shorts, which these are called We the Free, but that's still Free People brand. And button up shorts. So that's it. But anyway, guys, we had a you closer. We had a a pretty good day uh, all together. But we got, like I said, we spent 180 bucks and we probably got a thousand dollars worth of clothes. And it was fun doing it. And you know, like I said, we do these videos so we can kind of show you guys what to look out for. And if you're looking for a little extra income, this is a great way to do it. It's a little bit of hard work, but you go to garage sales, you're getting this stuff for pennies on the dollar and you're turning around and you're, you're selling it on eBay and you're making pretty good money. It's really, it's really pretty simple. But uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, we'll have another video as soon as we can. Keep watching and please subscribe if you can. It really helps us out. Thanks guys. Hi. But it's just the launchers, there's no blade. Yeah, You want that? Yeah. You can have it. <laughs> Nothing over there? Okay, he's found something. He found something? Yeah. Of course he did. What'd you find, Reread? Hey, you gotta put it back in here because that's the bag it goes in. Oh. Put it in here. In the bag. Is that what you're getting? No? Okay, well, we're done. Uh, yeah, I am. You are getting it? Okay. But I want it. I want it. Which one? Okay. It's not a battery, no. It's not a battery? He's not getting that. Does that have the radio controller, Elijah? Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Would it? Just give me, um, does he want that other thing? Staying in or going? I do want oh, some yeah. of those burrito tacos. We okay, find we'll go. We'll go get them at the, that the place. Same place. They're so good. Oh. Come on. Well, I'm telling you, they're going to be different everywhere you I go. Know, but we went there last night. Oh, it's not hot anymore. Not a GT though. You know why they're so desirable? Because the parts are so cheap.
catch up, bud. surgery right now surgery Win, lose, or draw. You remember that game? Yeah. I remember that TV show. Yeah. Good TV show. Remember this? Yeah. Racco? I never played that. But I sold that. Remember? Oh, okay. Oh, look. I was just talking about this. Lily really? Pulitzer. I just told you that last night, remember? I need to look through this stuff then? Okay. Where's Riri? Where's our child? Riri! He's right there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're really clean. 350 though. Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. Oh. They just don't do very well. Are we getting them or no? No. They did better. Yeah. Which do it. The Rockin' Republic men's shirt with tags on it. 2XL? I'll get it. Yeah, yeah. I would. Tag. <laughs> it's a vintage Wrangler tag. Is it vintage? Yeah. Curl snap. Is it? Yeah. Three bucks. Man, it's a nice shirt. I know. There's no way it would cost. I'm gonna help him out and make a good pile. Yeah. No, the guy was asking for old Nintendo games. Oh. I've seen these sell before. Know it? Yeah. Down to Rifflin shirts.
side yeah. what I think. tells me that all the time. I've learned that. You don't buy anything a size bigger. You don't buy two sizes too small. So right. I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to lose I'll weight. I'll fit that sometime. Nope. Only when the world runs out of food. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, a, like I tell my doctor. Camp I need, war horse. I need to lose weight. Exactly. It was in Iraq. Oh, well, thank you for your service. Uh, you too. Out of that one. I went from 62 to 84. I quit after 22 years. <laughs> I did 10 years, and then I, I decided I had enough. I I kind of regret not staying in now and collecting my retirement, but yeah. it's not bad. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I should have. That's what paid for our house and the kids in college. Too. Yeah. I keep coming back to the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now it pays for our gambling trips. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. We like to do the same thing. That's our vacation. Yeah. Is that it? I think so. Good luck to you guys. You have a good day. You too. Miss me or not? No. Can Republic? No, no. not the shorts. Look. It's different, isn't it? It is different. Nah. No. Well, that's a bit. Probably regret it, but. Oh, are you kidding me? This fit me? Ice cream, not warm. Did you read it? Yeah. So cool though.
clothes over here. Costume. Oh, yeah. Fourth of July is coming up. Fourth of July? Or uh, Halloween. <laughs> North Face. It's four dollars though. Man. North Face. The North Face. Again, the North Face. The North Face. Oh, that's a nice one. The North Face. Yeah. The North Face. Oh, it's got pearl snaps. Yeah, the other one did too. The first one did. Let's get the two pearl snaps. Just the two pearl snaps? Oh, that's so pretty. I mean, do you think they'll sell? Hello. I think that they will. The other uh, North Face ones that we had sold. Okay. Let's get them then. Can't be four dollars a piece. All right. <clears throat>
Getting tired, bud? How many garage sales did we go to in today? We only went to two? I think we went to like 10. How often does that work when y'all ask? Does it work often? Every time. Does it really? Every time, except for me. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> How you doing, man? Alright. Slipping too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we do now. Hey, let me, uh, hey, Kelly, you got a card? Yeah. Get you guys a, we do a YouTube channel. Oh, nice, very nice. Yeah. That thing right if there. If y'all subscribe, it'll help us. Oh, definitely. For sure. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're we're doing this stuff every every weekend, man. Good luck. Don't take it easy. Me too, man. Pick it up and take it to the pawn shop, man. Ninety-two dollars. <laughs> I'm serious. Pick it up. Are you for? Yeah. It's forty-five. We got it. Yeah, it's forty-five though. You gotta take it down. 